Right, so from uh, the Ada uh, Pavilion, we have come to the India Pavilion and uh, this is Jadav's next baby, the Amka, India's fifth generation dream. And look at the massive size, this almost looks like a real aircraft. So, uh, this is also been news for various, various reasons because this Air India is also about fifth generation fighters of the world meeting all that. So, I'm not going to focus on that. Now, Jadavji, tell me again, uh, we heard your presentation that during the Aero India seminar, interviews, uh, coming to AMCA, did you get the comp did you get the funding from the government? Is it a clear yes. project now? Yeah, AMCA is fully sanctioned by the government in April uh, 24, and now we are in the design stage. And if you uh, you are seeing this uh, one is to one, a fully engineered model is being fabricated at the private company in Hyderabad and now this model is used for the some experimental purpose which are very important. AMCA being the fifth generation stealth fighter, lot of technologies has been embedded into this. If you see its shaping, a totally a different type of shaping has been worked out to see that the radar cross section is kept low and at every place there is a Stealth material has been used, which is indigenized at the DRDO lab, and the test coupons of this test stealth material has been already uh, uh, qualified, and we are at very high TRL level of stealth material. Right. So that is one aspect, stealth. Then, then the important thing about this AMCA is the, if you come this side, right. I will show you. The air intake duct itself is totally different type of air intake duct and it is called divertless uh, air intake duct, serpentine air intake duct. This also makes RCS very very low. So we are track, planning to reduce the RCS by shaping a material and a different type of air intake. The test of all this also has been completed at the wind tunnels. So now coming to the is generation technology. So this is powered by an electronic pilot of artificial intelligence. So this electronic pilot not only does a multi-sensor data fusion, but it also gives a pilot decision support, then automatic target tracking, then automatic aerial target tracking. A lot of algorithms has been put into the artificial intelligence and this this makes this AMCA one of the contemporary aircraft um, among all the fifth generation aircraft with the sixth generation technology embedded into it. But lot of people say that by the time this AMCA comes, our uh, AMCA comes, lot of technologies will be obsolete. Yeah, so uh, that is not true because the technology which has been used here, all aircrafts are always having a 30 years of life and all. And here a modular construction has been used and also the open architecture, avionics and flight control has been used. So that will tackle the future obsolescence and there is always a scope since modular construction has been used, there is a scope of adapt adaptation of the latest sensor at the generation. So the obsolescence part has been tackled with the open architecture, architecture, uh, computers and the avionics and flight control as well as the modular airframe. Sir, uh, this aircraft is going to join the, uh, the services 10 years from now as things stand. So let us uh, believe and hope that the 10 years will be 10 not 15. If it is 10 years, by the time this aircraft comes, don't you think that the world will then definitely moving towards six, seven generation and then where would this fit stand? Yeah, a good question because uh, uh, this aircraft will be start flying from 27, 28 and then five years down the line, there will be an acceptance of necessity given by the government and then the production line infrastructure will start because this needs a different production line infrastructure because of its highly precision uh, airframe uh, machining and all other things. So though we say 34 it will get 10 years down the line it will get certified 
but the production will start infrastructure build up will start 3 years before the 2034 and by 35 it will start inducting so that is the plan now uh, coming to the uh, uh, sixth generation which will come towards as i told very clearly we are planning to put lot of sixth generation technologies into this so when it comes out it will be fully powered artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies which are contemporary to the sixth generation technology right sir so in terms of numbers this could have been reported in the past but i don't recall so how many amkas uh, are there are we yeah are the there they are told about uh, 120 numbers around that for air force for air force right and uh, so then how is it we going to do initially prototype that is yet to be decided right right or right. unless it will go to the sub different so 2025 26 in the next one year what are the major milestones this program will see yeah so the major milestone is uh, we will be getting on with the airframe because and avionics and sensors development and the proven this sensor will not wait for the platform to come we will prove all these sensors on to the platform which are flying so that is the next milestone and the biggest milestone is internal weapon bay door if you see this weapons are get going to get camouflage into the internal weapon right, bay door round right so the right. work work on that will be the most critical work for the next one right, year right 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 okay so next one year is for the internal weapon door now ada when it was created it was mark 1 program then it grew 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 with so many programs what happens to the talent uh, i'm talking about human resources so how are you going to manage that so while sanctioning this program we got the additional sanction of project based scientists and engineers and we are in the process of the recruitment and now we are doing lot of digitalization and employment uh, uh, epm type employment uh, personnel management training and all that thing to retain the talent and also uh, being the uh, programs available in ada there is lot of passionate engineers available so i don't think so there is a drain of talent going to happen in fact there are lot of people who are interested into aviation which will be coming a fresh talent and we will able to make and lot of industries we will integrate in amka major thing is the core design will be done by ada but the all the other work will be done by the industry so, so we will force multiply the uh, complete uh, ecosystem to see that design happens in the time this want to ask you is there any way that this 10 year period of this entering the services could be cut short and we could perhaps do it in 6 7 years possibility exist based on the how the ecosystem and model works out but it's too early to say today yeah but, but if we work out a, some a good model of private uh, participation public partnership or something to cut down the uh, procurement delays and the uh, integration delays these timelines can be reduced uh, other factor is the engine so uh, uh, you know uh, what is that what power plant this will have amka will be powered by the same engine ge414 that i remember sir in long time when i interviewed the former dg he said later on a desi engine might come in no or no. no such a decisions today only talks are going on acha okay so as things stand is g414 g414 right so is there anything else you want to tell with regard to this particular project we heard you from mark 2 now uh, this one i think perhaps what we missed is ted bf that we'll have to do a, or why don't you just talk about ted bf here itself so that you know yeah ted bf is in the advanced stage of sanctioning we have already put a paper any time we are expecting the sanction that is the ccs uh, the, that is also 6 to 7 years and the then ccs sanction ccs sanction right pending right. so the paper is at advanced sanction of the government and then as soon as it comes but the design we are not stopping we started started doing yeah. the design right so uh, just want to ask you at some quarters you know there was a movement requesting asking uh, the uh, indian navy if they could consider the lca navy initial aircraft that was uh, you know thing uh, you know that was flown uh, even it did carry trials if you know they could consider one squadron for the training purposes is it just is 
what movement is happening on that front? Uh, talks are on with Navy on the similar matter and we have given a proposal. I think it is under the discussion at Indian Navy. Indian Navy is looking for that proposal in a positive way. That is, uh, that, that is Jadav. It's always a pleasure talking to him, uh, you know, to the point uh, and uh, straight. Tons of, uh, you know, he has been very, very busy. The entire media is chasing in between signing MOUs, meetings, running around. Uh, it is no joke to uh, lead such a big organization. So many projects, so many scrutinies, so many, you know, theories, politics, media, this, that. And that too. Uh, you know, come out, it's almost 6 o'clock here at uh, the, uh, yeah, 536 at, uh, the, at the airbase and yet to put this smile. I'm sure there will be a lot of people who will be commenting behind this video saying that by the time 5th generation comes, it will be late. But you heard him telling there will be technologies of 6th generation also embedded. Let's have some faith in our country, in our scientists. They have come this far with all the criticisms and uh, brickbats. I think time has come also. We need to keep some bouquets to inspire these tireless, passionate scientists. As always, strike a pin to your heart. Signing off from this, from this amazing uh, India Pavilion along with my good friend Jadav. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anand.